นเดี๋ยวผมขอรบกวนเอาเอาไอ้ไอ้ที่ไอ้กล่องเครื่องมือนู้นมาก็ได้เพราะนั่นต้องวางโน่นโน่นโน่นโน่นนี้ก่อนนี้อันนี้จบใช่ครับตรงนั้นนะครับไม่รู้วันนี้ของขายของเขาเองเนี่ยThere's a keel, so everything is the same. Suspension springs in exactly the same position. The wiring strap, but it does, there's no power supply, so the bow halas can be taken away, or if it's a lingo, the connecting board can be taken away. This is the underside of a keel, so you can see all the different machining elements on it. it carries on all the way up through the arm board. And there's the big, big difference. There's the DC motor. Remember, I said it sat inside a plastic case. We put a nice little base plate on the bottom. So the motor is about as big as my finger. So all the space around it is just filled with this damping material. And then power supply from the radical comes in here. But also, you can see there's wires connecting up through. To that little sensor board, and they're feeding data. So there's two-way comms going down that cable as well. And here you can see. I was talking to you about the latest generation plinth has these big braces in the corner, and the little metal braces as well. And there's the difference there. You can just see here. I talked about another bolt that passed down from the top plate into the corner, just to stop the corner vibrating. Here it is here, and again, tight but not crazy tight. Because the radical power supply, the, uh, the Eureka, is too close to this, we move this wiring strap. Was connected there. Now it's connected over here, so just moved out of the way, so it's not touching the Eureka. Just see the effect of that um, damping material. So I'm moving the whole motor there, but when I let go, it just goes back to its original position. The material has memory. I mean, when we put it in, we don't just stick it in; it's, it's held in a in a, um, a jig. 
So you have the canister and then the motor is lowered in dead central and then we fill it up. We don't just pour the goo in and stick the motor in. So the motor is aligned perfectly vertically, perfectly central. So if you bend it out of shape, bing, it just bends straight back. It's a clever material. If you push it down all day and then let go, it just comes back to where it was. It's a change. So when we set up, if we forget to use the the right the what happens? If you set the suspension without a belt, yeah. so you need Time, you should put the belt on, yeah, yeah. I mean, the belt, again, is a spring. Very small spring, but it is a spring. Because the belt pull, pull this part, right? So. Yeah. so when you set the suspension up, put a belt on. 